Welcome back, everybody. Profit at TikTok owner ByteDance surging 60% last year to more than $40 billion. That's according to a Bloomberg report. Meantime, today marks four weeks since a House bill was passed that could lead to a nationwide ban of TikTok. The Senate hasn't acted on it yet, but joining us right now to say why she would support a ban like this is West Virginia Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito. She is the vice chair of the Senate Republican Conference, and Senator, welcome. Uh, we heard some pretty strong words coming from Mitch McConnell about why he thinks that this should not be allowed to continue as is. Why do you think TikTok is a threat? Well, I think it's obvious that uh, the structure of TikTok is, uh, is constructed with ByteDance being the owner to, to comply with the Chinese intelligence laws. It means that you, you, you're required as a company to share your data uh, with the CCP. And I, I think in, in, my, in this case of TikTok, it's so widely used. I think it would create, it has created a great vulnerability, not just for our young people, but for everybody. And so all we're asking in this bill is that the ownership change if become domestic and TikTok can, you know, move forward with the good things that TikTok does. And so I am very concerned about the effect, the long-term effect, but also the short-term effect and what data is already in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. Senator, um, you can say that you're not in favor of banning it, but effectively, if the Chinese government does not allow for the sale, this could get shut down as a result. Uh, there are millions of Americans that use this every day. Do you really think this information is being shared with the CCP right now? Do you really think this is more dangerous than other social media sites that exist in the United States today? Well, I think because of the ownership structure and the competition and the and the will of the Chinese government itself to become the most powerful economy in the world, causing, a, I think, a great threat to us as Americans, absolutely the threat is there. I think also when I talk about this publicly, we, I got a lot of parents who are uh, concerned about the direction that TikTok is taking their children. And I can tell you in my own personal Senate office, uh, hundreds of calls from 11-year-olds, 12-year-olds. They're being channeled by TikTok into their Senate office so they know where you live because they're telling me, you know, they're calling my office and they live in my state and, and they're saying, you know, please right. don't ban TikTok. I'm not, l listen, innovation is a great thing. It may not be called TikTok. It may be something else, but you can't tell me today that somebody's not already developing an alternative to TikTok that will be better that will be safer and will be much more secure for the American people. Right. Senator, here's the thing that I can't understand. Um, yes. I hear lots of reasons for why people might not like TikTok or want TikTok, uh, you know, around either their children or what I think you're talking about was, which is what I would describe as a prospective threat uh, to the American public, which is you could argue to me, I think very reasonably uh, that if you believe that the Chinese would one day want to use TikTok uh, in an inappropriate fashion to influence uh, our election, our democracy, well, something like that, right. that you think that's a threat and that therefore TikTok should not be here and we should have rules around the way we have rules on, on the FCC around uh, whether foreign owners can own TV networks and the like. That all right. makes sense to me. What doesn't make sense is the idea that we have so many uh, folks in Washington who keep saying repeatedly that they believe that the Chinese government is taking data today and is uh, misappropriating that data of American users and all of that. And I have at least yet to see that evidence. Have you seen that evidence? Well, I think we've seen reports that that's moving forward, but I'm not, I'm not naive enough to think that that's not what they're doing. I mean, I think we have to guard against the possible, and I think that is not just a small possibility, but it's a large possibility. Look, we, we have an election coming up. We have all these geopolitical uh, things that are going on that uh, I'm sure the Chinese would try to sway the American uh, thought process in a lot of these things. And if they have our data, which I am certain that they do, and, and you know, let's see, let's just get real here. Data never dies. They had it before, before they uh, separated and created this Texas company. They probably have ways to have it now. I don't think you can believe what they say. And so I'm in the category of a very skeptical person who believes that China has goals in mind that would fit very nicely with capturing as much data here in this country as they possibly could, Senator, however have, they would do it. We have to go, but very quickly, will this bill pass the Senate? 
You know, I don't understand why uh, Schumer's not taking up. I thought Leader McConnell was very forceful on it. Uh, the, the, it was an overwhelming vote in the, in the House, and, and so I expect it to come before the floor, and I expect it to pass. And the president says he would sign it. Senator, thank you.